everybody, it's Eric from Varmeter.com. In this video, we will be rock chuck hunting in the Rim Rocks. This is in Northeast California. We'll be using the 17WSM, a 22K Hornet, and a 223 AR-15. So stay tuned. Warning, this video contains images of legal hunting activities. If you are offended by these types of images, please leave now. So we headed up to Northeast California a few months ago to do some varmint hunting and one of the days we went up to the high country where it bordered a private farm and we hunted some rock chucks. And for people who don't know, rock chucks can cause a lot of damage. Um, they're basically big ground squirrels. And whenever they have rim rock bordering fields like this one, alfalfa fields, they'll just go down and gorge themselves and then head up and sun themselves in the rim rock. So our setup was that we were on the left-hand side. There was a small creek and a canyon separating us from the rock chuck, and they were up on the rim rock. And this is, gives you an idea of what the rim rock looks like. It's dark rock. Later in the afternoon when it gets warm, the mirage comes off it, so it makes for some difficult shooting. So here's the first one, and stay tuned. It's kind of sitting back to the back. You've got to get up on top. A little high. That that helped. So as you can see on that one, that was with the Franklin Armory 17 WSM. I did shoot a little bit high on the first shot. Just the uh, heat that was rising up from the canyon and the rocks, I didn't anticipate that. So you can see I just missed him. I didn't realize what was going on and followed it up here. So on these, my cameraman Tom went ahead and pulled out his Ruger 22 k Hornet and took a couple shots. On this first one, he shot just like I did, just a little bit high and just missed him. However, a little bit later we found this one across the canyon and you can see the wind blowing his fur. That's how hard the wind was blowing up there. This was about 200 yards away. Tom made an excellent shot with his K-Hornet. Got him, dude. You're going to watch it again in slow motion. It just hits him and goes right into his chest cavity and just killed him. He rolled right off that rock and died. And the last one here, we're using the Remington R15 and 223 with some Corbon ammunition, the 36 grain varmint grenade from Barnes. It hits this rock chuck pretty hard. He rolls down and he died right there. He rolled over. So thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button below. If you have any comments, by all means, put them below and I'll do my best to answer them as quick as possible. In the meantime, if you haven't subscribed already, please click there to subscribe and you can head over to varmature.com for more articles and videos. Thanks a lot.